Hi dear friends this is Dr Kadam Nagpal senior consultant neurologist at PSRI hospital so on the occasion of world alzheimer's day we are just remembering those patients who have got difficulty to remember things that means patients who suffer from dementia mostly uh, they are beyond 65 years of age and the most common dementia what we often encounter is alzheimer's disease so what exactly happens in alzheimer's how can we uh, understand the symptomatology of the ailment what how to address basic issues of such patients and how to treat and how to prevent such a, such an ailment which requires uh, a lot of support and a lot of uh, patience uh, and support from the caregivers so i'll be just like sensitizing each one of you about the same so alzheimer's dementia is uh, the most common form of dementia which is being seen in more than 65 years of uh, age of population dementia is basically a a basket of symptoms where alzheimer disease is one of the most common type subtype so dementia implies that any person who has got difficulty in his cognitive abilities and uh, which manifest in decrease in his previous level of functioning is what we call it as cognitive decline or dementia so in alzheimer's what exactly happens that uh, there is a deposition of an abnormal protein uh, what we call it as beta amyloid plaques and neurofibrillary tangles so this is uh, this basically happens in the temporal areas of the brain which turn out to be as a graveyard of amyloid plaques and neurofibrillary tangles so what these things done that this uh, the deposition of protein and these tangles just damage the area which is being uh, very important for episodic memory or a short term memory so such patients often come out with a short term memory impairment short term memory impairment is the first symptom where the patient of alzheimers might just come to a in neurology opd and then subsequently we find that other symptoms also develop such as difficulty in navigation having some kind of visual spatial disorientation they might just uh, have difficulty in recognizing uh, bathroom for a kitchen or vice versa they might be having difficulty in traversing uh, between semi, uh, familiar uh, surroundings such as even a homely surrounding they might be just like very unfamiliar with in time to come they have often uh, uh, have difficulties with recognizing their near and dear ones their their relatives they have difficulty in naming and eventually a very significant language dysfunction also comes into place where such patients are always disoriented they are not able to convey they are not able to comprehend uh, what the other person is often saying and eventually they just uh, become absolutely mute when the alzheimer's advances from a mild stage to a severe stage we see that patients activities of daily living are very severely hampered they are not able to uh, even walk sh uh, short distances they are very slow in their uh, in their activities and eventually become uh, urinary incontinent and bed bound in the severe stages so uh, the treatment often just involve certain medications which just slow the ailment especially once given in their in the early aspects of the disease however there is no uh, uh, proper curative treatment for it which can reverse the entire process it's a neurodegenerative ailment and we often let our patients know that it will progress in future and they have to be dependent over the others they cannot make any financial decisions they cannot take any financial calls to support their family and we often let their family members know of the same so these are the patients who are mostly dependent on their caregivers and we often sensitize how they have to be just managed because early into the ailment when the patient is absolutely mobile a patient who might be having a navigational difficulty might just wander anywhere else and might just be lost and he would be having a lot of difficulty in getting back to his household surroundings so we ask our patients that uh, uh, attendants that they should be at least carrying some uh, visiting cards of their near and dear one they should be having a mobile phone they should be having a gps navigation de device so that even if they forget where they ha where they are at least their near and dear ones can trace their location and uh, put them to safety so simultaneously we let our uh, attendants as well as the patient be aware that uh, falls should always be avoided so when, once the alzheimer becomes severe uh, 
in the in the disease progression patients become confined to their room or even to their bed so falls should always be avoided infections should always be preemptively treated as far as prevention of this ailment uh, is being concerned as i have mentioned it's a neurodegenerative ailment it will progress it's difficult to prevent but there have been a lot of trials where good lifestyle avoidance of smoking alcohol and uh, adequate exercise often result in uh, in good memory and good brain health even even proper there have been trials that proper sleeping time also result in in a good brain health and it might just avoid alzheimers uh, in future so my message to all my patients is and, and even the caregivers is that we have to understand this ailment can just uh, uh, involve anybody in their elderly age group beyond 65 years of age uh, attendants and family members have to be aware and vigilant enough about these symptoms and whenever such symptoms occur they have to get in touch with the neurologist so that adequate and appropriate treatment can be started at the earliest and uh, and all sorts of measures to be should be taken so that we can we can just make the patient steady and and uh, composed in time to come and uh, this is this is what my uh, uh, message would be to, uh, to the patient as well as their attendants thank you